Hello everyone. My name is Assembly Assembly and uh, long time no see, right? I, uh, I apologize. Um, although I owe you nothing, YouTube. Um, but no, I like, I like doing videos. Um, I like doing things that cheer me up and I've been a little depressed as of late. And uh, so I haven't been really doing the things that cheer me up too much. And uh, so here I am making another video. Um, I want to talk about my Thanksgiving experience. Um, it's Thanksgiving all around. Happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Turkey Day. Or happy every day. <laughs> like the day that, that is today if you don't. Uh, celebrate anything, but um, yeah, so maybe I should hold the microphone over here. Um, so um, I um, I get a certain kick out of being in places that don't have too many queer people, and uh, there's an idea out there that uh, that uh, I became keen on uh, like a week ago. I don't know where this idea came from. It could have been from Judith Halberstam, if that's how you say Judith, this Judith's name, I don't know. Um, but uh, the idea is that the, the, the queer narrative in some way um, mirrors the urbanization narrative, if that could, can be a narrative. Um, the, uh, I had to move into the city to be queer idea is, I think, strongly rooted in, in people's identities. It is in mine. And um, you, uh, you're born in Nebraska, and there are no queer people in Nebraska, and the only way you can be queer is to move to Minneapolis <laughs> or, uh, or San Francisco or New York or, or someplace like that to be queer. And... Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. So, being in a place that uh, could be the side of the road on your road trip to San Francisco, some town that you'd never want to live in, um, some town that's straight as apple pie, uh, that being the place that I spend Thanksgiving, I, um, I get a certain kick out of it because I can experience it. Um, as a queer person, as knowing I'm queer, as having all the things that I wear drip queer. And uh, I'm really aware of this because everyone around me is not. Um, and so I get a kick out of it. Like I get a, a bit of pride out of it. This is who I am. And I can be who I am. I am who I am in this town despite uh, being told that there's no way that I could live in it and be queer at the same time. The fact that I'm here and queer, to use that cliche, um, in this town that you want me to move out of, I think is, is exciting. And uh, it gives me a certain thrill. Um, I wouldn't want to be the only queer person in town. That's for sure. That would get awfully lonely and, uh, and frustrating. But... They're queer people in places that aren't cities. They're queer people in urban places, believe it or not. Believe it or not, they're queer people in Nebraska. Brandon Tina wasn't the only one. There are a whole bunch of queer people in all sorts of places. Georgia, um, out of all places. Uh, places that uh, uh, where the Ku Klux Klan is alive and well, you'll find queer people. And uh, not saying that queer people would be in the Ku Klux Klan, but um, I'm only assuming I don't know everyone. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's my thought. I'm um, I'm uh, I'm enjoying being present here in a place that. Uh, that didn't want me when I was a kid. So, take care everyone. Bye-bye.